happy Wednesday. Everything went nice on the rest day yesterday. Feet were kind of bothering me, I think from calf raises and riding the day before, but um, I recovered well. Um, gonna do back today. May get a ride in. The weather's really nice, so I may try and get maybe a half an hour ride. My workout will probably take an hour, so I'm gonna just pound it as hard as I can. Um, I love working back. I did alter my back workout. I got rid of the hanging leg, the hanging weighted leg raises. I'm adding in lateral raise because, like I was saying before, I'm trying to bring my shoulders up and uh, OHP. I'm adding OHP in instead of. I can't remember what I'm taking out for OHP, but I'm taking something out for OHP. So that will look different on the video today. So I hope that that helps um, some people. I've talked to some people lately and told them that they should uh, adopt those routines that I'm putting up online, but you know, whatever. You can lead a horse to water. So what I want to talk quickly about today, and I don't want to go into it all crazy or anything like that. You can research it. Like I always say, you should research all these topics I talk about because I'm just, you know, going off ideas, not uh, what'll work for you, but I've read all of this information in the last several months about how endomorphs have to take in all this fat and everything like that. And I just think you need to be very careful because honestly, if it's not a controlled amount of coconut oil, avocados, you know, things like that, just coconut avocados, you know, all the butter, all the you know, oils and, you know, fatty foods, cheeses and different things like that. You really have to watch that stuff because from my experience, the stuff slows your metabolism down. And, you know, I've had days where I haven't even gone over my calories, but I've taken in higher, you know, I guess what they would say is, you know, still healthy fats, oils added to my food, you know, uh, fried my food and, it, it, you know, uh, had fried food at restaurants and different things like that. And I don't even go over my calories, but the next day my weight doesn't drop and it'll be a workout day. And then I'll go and I'll eat less fat or I'll eat the same amount of fat, excuse me, but it'll be, you know, avocados, coconut oil, coconut meat, you know, from a coconut that I crack and take out the meat, you know, those type of things, uh, vegan cheese, you know, and I'll wake up lighter the next day. So that got me thinking, and I could be wrong, you know, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, you know, trying to shine a light on the reality um, for anyone that's watching the video that you really have to listen to your body especially as an endomorph when it comes to this, this fat content thing, because I know that there's a lot of stuff out there that says, oh, you gotta eat higher fat, 40% fat, and all this other stuff, but what kind of fats are those? Are they really these traditional fats? You know, is it really the butters, the olive oils, the salad dressings, things like that? You really gotta watch that, because I don't know if I'm really buying that for myself. I feel like for myself that it, you know, that if I'm cooking, it needs to be with coconut oil, coconut oil. And if I'm adding any fats to my meals, it needs to be avocado or more coconut oil. Outside of that, I really don't see the need of eating any of the other ones. You know, I do have dressings that I have that are vegan dressings that have some oils in them. But even when I have like a five, you know, 100 gram salad. I do not add more than one serving of dressing to my salads. I just try and buy like herbs and spices that I can put into my salads that can, um, you know, they can add flavoring to the salad itself. But I rarely add a lot of um, dressing to my salad because dressings are high in fat. And I've seen this in the past when I've been cutting where I'll have, you know, a few salads in a day and so you'll have a few servings of that dressing, the same dressing or maybe two different kinds of dressings and the next day my weight's still up. And that's telling me something. That's telling me that the fats in those dressings are putting a strain on my system. So 
just be aware, you know, and like I always say, man, you gotta read, you gotta, you got, you have to research these topics. You can't sit around expecting everyone to do the work for you. You gotta read meta analysis. You gotta get out there and look at what people are saying about the way that fats work in your digestive system, the way your body metabolizes fats as an endomorph. So I hope that information helps. Happy Wednesday.